Welcome to this week's St. Clair County Board of Commissioners meeting. The types of business that occur at these meetings include public hearings, official voting on actions by the Board of Commissioners, presentations by departments of the county, and recognition of service that makes our county great. As your elected representatives, the St. Clair County Board of Commissioners is committed to improving the lives of all our residents while preparing county government to meet the demands of the future. In order to do that, we need to share our thoughts and plans with you. More importantly, we need you to share your thoughts, concerns, and opinions with us. We encourage you to come and experience the process by attending any of these meetings. They occur every first and third Thursday of the month at 6 p.m. at the St. Clair County Administration Building at 200 Grand River Avenue in Port Huron. The St. Clair County Board of Commissioners Human Services Committee will come to order. The clerk will call the roll. Certainly. Commissioner Bohm? Here. Commissioner Graytop? Here. Commissioner Heideman? Here. Commissioner Rushing? Here. Commissioner Samasco? Here. Commissioner Ward? Here. Commissioner London? Here. We have a quorum. If we could raise for the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, additions, deletions, or changes to the agenda? Commissioner Graytop? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, uh, I would like to move um, from the uh, Environment Public Works 7A Resolution 1238 County at Large Drain Assessment for 2012 to 7A and slide your A through F down one notch. Uh, the drain commissioner will be coming through the door in about 30 seconds as a seven o'clock meeting he needs to attend. Do I hear a second for that motion? Second. Uh, I would second Discussion? It. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried. Agenda approved. Uh, citizens to be heard. Are there any citizens to be heard this evening? Citizens to be heard this evening. Hearing none, I will move to updates. Blue Water Convention um, Visitors Bureau update. Actually, uh, Marcy Fogel called me tonight. And she's uh, sick, so she was going to come in next week to give an update. But a lot of what she's going to talk about, I actually sit on that board also. Um, the Convention and Visitors Bureau is willing to take on the expense of hiring an individual to market the facility, the convention center, okay? And the piece so that they do ask for the county to do is provide a budget for some of the marketing materials. Um, as many of you know, the Convention Visitors Bureau has committed 1% of their total funding to the cost of the convention facility, and they see that it's important and understand the need to really get somebody on board now to go out and market this thing. So the combination of bringing the person in, working with the county, like I said, to provide some of the marketing materials, that expense would come back on us, that they'll bear that cost. And if you actually looked at some of the manning tables, that expense was a, an expense that was going to be um, covered by the uh, county. So I think it's a great partnership with them, like to uh, continue forward. Um, they know they've got to bring somebody that has a knowledge of conventions and, and Marcy's uh, put the feelers out to the um, industry and really she's, she's already had I know a few interviews and that and they want to get somebody in the uh, very near future on board to handle that. Jeff I was just going to make a point of <coughs> clarification you said the Conventioners Visitor Bureau has pledged one percent of their revenue it's actually one percent of their five percent tax which represents 20, twenty percent twenty percent of their total revenue i'm, I'm sorry where you were coming from <coughs> I just want to make which in today's dollars roughly one hundred and twenty five thousand they know there's obviously going to be an increase in room you know ten to fifteen percent kind of industry um, norm is, is what they're talking about with the ad you know the addition of the convention facility like i said they're willing to hire somebody to do that i think we all understand we need to get out in front of this to just to let these meeting planners know this facility is coming because a lot of these conventions are, are, are you know, two to three years out kind of stuff and then really, uh, um, you know, get some really good marketing materials and really go out and start to uh, book this thing. 
she'll be in to talk more about it next week, but that's kind of the general premise of, of um, what the discussion is going to be. Obviously, we've got Jeff, work. not to get not to get into a long discussion about the convention bureau, but I wanted just to make sure to hear from you and Bill that the amount of the budget uh, for the for the convention center has not changed at all. I know we've said that many times, but there's been quite a quite a few uh, articles in the paper about it, about the budget, about it's the nine million is still the, the amount. Just just to make sure that that's out there. I think we all agree that we need to, correct me if I'm wrong, that we all agree we need to get somebody on board to go out and start, you know, promoting this thing. I do want somebody that responds to this board and answers to our administrator, though. That's, okay. we'll talk next week as far yeah. as I've heard, but that's really yep. important to me is. And we, and there's different, you know, levels of staffing that we're going to be required to have, you know, for the facility. And I, and, and there's, there's going to be a lot more discussion as far as I think the, overall management of it in general you know whether the convention center some of the things we've talked about with mcmorin you know as far as trying to get some synergies there so that's uh more to come any more discussions on the convention center okay well moving on to the conceptual initiatives conceptual initiatives in all right, uh, moving on to item number seven, new business. And I think I saw the drain commissioner uh, come into the build, into the room. So would you like to come up and give us your uh, discussion, Mr. Wiley? Absolutely. <coughs> Thank you for having me here tonight. I just wanted to go over my budget for this past year. We talked about a $500,000 budget, but as we got rolling <coughs> along and, and work progressed through the year, uh, we've had some storm events that we had to address later in the year uh, as we neared that $500,000 uh, county at large budget. We ended up exceeding that by 11900 $37.27, so I would like to ask if uh, the board would be uh, willing to increase my budget from the 500000 that was approved to the $511,937.27 to cover those extra charges uh, that we ran into at the tail end of our uh, budget year. Correct me if I'm wrong, there's just some things you don't have, hence the monsoon came through and blew the drains apart. I mean, there's issues you don't have much control over sometimes in those uh, situations. Right, and some of the things the, the uh, some of the township supervisors are seeing the value in having these drains that are functioning properly, uh, and they're calling me up more frequently saying, you know, we've got some extra money, could you come and do this? Well, we're trying to balance it all out, but sometimes they have, say, a, a beaver dam that's holding the water up four feet that we have to get into, and, and it's, we try and leave a little extra for the end of the year to compensate for that, but unfortunately, uh, you may end up with four extra beaver dams than what you planned on. <laughs> it happens. Mr. Coleman, is there some response you could give to that on giving us some <coughs> advice on how we can do this? Or sure, actually, um, I <coughs> before the meeting, I spent some time talking with um, Ms. Hepting about this and how we might fund it. And um, we've she's been working on the year-end budget adjustments, which will be presented to you um, next week. And um, she has already included this um, eleven approximately 12,000 um, additional in the year-end budget adjustments. So the funds are there to support it. Um, every year the drain commissioner comes to you and asks for adjustments. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. Um, and this year it just happens to be up a little bit. I but believe last year it was down, so. Yes, yes it was. Yeah. So administration would certainly support. Are there any other questions for Mr. Wagler while he's here? I'd make a motion to move support. this out. Uh, discussion? 
Do we need a roll call on them? <coughs> it's not Let's, the final go final. Let's go on a full board. <clears throat> okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Cut Motion people. carried. On my way. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Okay, uh, moving on to item number 7A, Library Network Delivery Service Contract. I see Allison in the uh, audience. Uh, Allison, you're going to... I don't know I, if there's going to be any questions or not. I, did, I, I guess I just ask, if, is this just routine renewal? Yes. I'd make a motion. Support. I, support. Discussions or questions for Allison? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Item number 7B, uh, resolution for 11, uh, for the 11 46 senior millage uh, 2013 appropriation. So moved. Board. Discussions on the resolution? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried. Okay, the area, item number C, area agency uh, 1B reappointments. I would move that we send uh, Mr. <coughs> Vern Bartley, Jr. for the Board of Commissioners Committee report. Is that the right one? Yes, it is. On the full board. Is Second. there a second? Any discussion? All those in favor for Mr. Bartley to, to, for the full board, say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried. Moving on to item 7D, Commission on Aging Reappointment. Make a motion to uh, reappoint Ms. Crystal Jones to a term expiring 1231 of 15 and reappoint Ms. Pamela Wall to a term expiring also 1231-2015. Move my Commissioner Ward, is there a, do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Oppose it? Uh, None? I just want, well that, that's all right, just one little question, uh, and that is uh, uh, on District 6, uh, David Vogel, uh, his term expires too, according to this information. Uh, did he request reappointment? No, not if it's not marked. So we have a vacancy there? Uh, we, yes, we will. We will have a vacancy. Okay. Uh, do you recall, is, is this go according to county commission districts? Mm. Looks like it. Aging, it looks like it. I believe yeah. it does. It is, yep. Okay. District 6 is not. District 6 will have an opening. Yes. Okay, was that noted by? Yes. Okay. Any other questions or discussion? Thank you. Okay, moving on to uh, where are we? Item 7E Health <laughs> Advisory uh, a Board Reappointment. Make a motion that uh, we send uh, Miss Barbara A. Britz uh, to the full board for reappointment to the board expi term expiring 12 31 2014. And Dr. Scott McPhillany, also expiring 12 31 2014. And I think one more, Mr. John Parsons, expiring 12 31 2014. Good job. Good. Second. Good job. Good. I would say that I serve on that committee and I know these three gentlemen very well and they're very, they work very hard and they definitely need the reappointment and I would support <laughs> that. That means they think. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Okay, moving on to the Veterans Affairs Board uh, reappointment. Item number seven F. Make the motion to appoint Daniel Crocker to term of 1231-2016. Support. <coughs> Discussion on Daniel Crocker. I also serve on that board and I would say that I would support that uh, reappointment, uh, commissioners. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Mr. Chair. <coughs> 
I just Mr. have a, I just have a question about the um, vacancy of the World War II member. Uh, they're they're getting up into their late 80s and early 90s, and I'm wondering if maybe uh, it wouldn't be wise to look into uh, maybe appointing someone that's been in in Iraq or Afghanistan uh, to represent. Uh, uh, the veterans. Mr. Chairman? Uh, funny you should bring that one up. I just asked a gentleman yesterday from World War II if he would be willing to serve on it. He's 93 years old and in good health, um, but he was leery about driving all the way to Port Huron on a monthly basis, and he asked for a little time to think about it. So before we make too many changes there, give me a okay. week and I'll, I'll have an answer for you. But uh, oh, that, if, if there's someone yeah. that's willing to serve, I'm... If I, if I could talk him into yeah. it, I, I would love to see him do it, but he's yeah. about the only guy I know left that's still from World yeah. War II. I see Mr. Bacon's in the audience. Did you have a, does anything you'd like to add to that comment? Uh, any other discussion? Okay, moving on to <clears throat> other human services matters. Number eight. Hearing none, uh, moving on to information only. MSU Key Partner Award. Make the motion to receive and file information only. Support. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, motion carried. I move to adjourn. How about can we receive and file packets first, Mr. We, just, we did that. We just did. Okay. That. Uh, he moved to adjourn. Mo Is Jeff there a Jeff second to adjourn? Information only, didn't he? Information yeah. only. Yeah. yeah. Jeff was information only. So you got. Okay, I make a motion to receive and file packets. <laughs> second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Now we will take a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Thank you. Support. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carried. I'd like to call to order, please, the St. Clair County Board of Commissioners Judiciary Public Safety Committee meeting. If the clerk would take the roll, please. Commissioner Ward? Here. Commissioner Smasco? Here. Commissioner Rushing? Here. Commissioner Heideman? Here. Commissioner London? Here. Commissioner Bohm? Here. Commissioner Graytop? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, any additions or deletions or changes to the agenda? Hearing none, can we get a motion? Move to approve the agendas. Support. Motion and support. All in favor? <coughs> Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Citizens wishing to address the Judiciary and Public Safety Committee. Any citizens? Hearing none. Any updates from any commissioners? I, I have one, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Um, in case, uh, just a, a quick report on some highlights uh, from the St. Clair County Intervention Academy. Um, just a few uh, items. Uh, for those uh, individuals incarcerated, uh, typically for, let's say, less than a year, uh, the average incoming reading and math scores for 2012-2013. For reading, um, the general level coming in was uh, 8.05. <coughs> Exiting the reading and math program, many of them, let's say the average was six months. The average in reading was 9.1. For math, the beginning was uh, 6.7 grade level exiting 8.6 grade level. So within that six months period, typically, they went up uh, one grade level in reading and uh, or more and two grade levels in math. Uh, most important one, we have had uh, those students that were incarcerated there, they recovered 888.5 units of credit. So when they return to their school, they're, in many cases, a little closer to getting back with the mainstream. Uh, and then GEDs earned in the adult section, 388 adults have earned GEDs and 883 juveniles. 
So we're looking at, we're coming up on about 450 GEDs. Uh, what uh, period of time is that? How uh, the, the typical, uh, no, no. That's, that's for the whole time that we've been operating. Which is? Four years. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So I think we're the only in the state, aren't we, Howard? Uh, the only jail? <coughs> school. No, I think there are. Charter uh, school. Yeah, I, I think we're the only charter school that functions at the intervention again. Uh, the highest overall GED score earned by an intervention academy student was 750. 800 is the maximum score. The highest single GED score earned by two intervention <coughs> academy students was 800. So we've had two hit the highest. That's pretty amazing. I thought share that with you and the community. Good, thank you. Uh, Commissioner Bohm? A uh, little, um, actually the three of us can kind of tag team this one. Uh, Central Dispatch meeting uh, yesterday. I had asked uh, Tim Conger a few months back to do some checking into um, some possibilities for uh, a backup center, so to speak, for us. As you know, we have currently have our um, uh, 911 system housed in the Sheriff's Department and Port Heron is quote unquote our backup center um, at the time being. But if you talk to Chief Reeves, Chief Reeves sits on that board along with um, Chief Drake from uh, Clay Township, which they actually have their own um, dispatch down there. And all parties will agree that they're, that they're not capable nor is Port Heron sufficient to be our backup center, okay? Uh, Tim Conger went on and looked at three different options. He went and spoke with a McComb. McComb's in the process of building a very large uh, dispatch center. Um, we've got Sarisa, which is a dispatch center, which uh, our former director, uh, Sherry Bartram, actually heads that up. And Lapeer County is actually coming online with their dispatch center here in the next, um, they said 30 days. I actually talked to the chairman of the board today from Lapeer County regarding it. And I know Bill had reached out to the administrator. But basically what it would come down to is it would be a mutual agreement between us and whomever um, we chose. After speaking with the central dispatch um, board and, and our relationships, I think, with Lapeer County, um, we, you know, do their assessing right now. We do their Veterans Affairs and with some talks with other, um, you know, arrangements with them where it would be a situation where if, you, if your backup, if your center went down, basically your calls would be routed to the other center and vice versa. Now, I will tell you that in the 19 years that Tim Conger's been in place, we've never had a situation where they've had to abandon the center so to speak so these things going down are not a regular occurrence but you still need that capability um, currently we're spending eleven thousand dollars a year to keep the port here and lines open or you know the center open just to have those lines they feel that it would be better off working out a mutual agreement with a with a neighboring county as it appear which where they're back up there are backup, vice versa. There's a minimal amount of money they're talking about um, to have to buy some equipment that you would put in. I think we need to look at an arrangement which, you know, it's a 30 day out, whatever it is, you know, so and so forth. So, but bottom line is that the whole board agreed to uh, continue with discussions with Lapeer. I had a conversation with their chairman today. Uh, very interested, Bill, you had talked to the administrator today you want to pipe in a little bit on some of your conversations or? Sure, we just talked about the concept, um, myself and the county administrator and the peer, and um, they're very interested in it as well. He knows that his central dispatch um, director has been talking with our director as well about the concept for a couple of months now, and um, he is certainly very supportive of it. Steve? Chair from Tim Donlin to see if there's any Think he might note on either selection or timing? Uh, Tim sits on that board. I understand. So he thinks Lapeer is the right choice. Yeah, Lapeer. And truthfully, it's nothing that, like, if you do it, that you're tied to him for the rest of your life. I mean, I understand. <coughs> yeah. Just, yeah. He's the major law enforcement force in the county. Yep. Yep. So no, Tim sits on the board. That board overwhelmingly, there wasn't anybody that said we shouldn't be looking at Lapeer. <clears throat> and everybody thought it was a, was a good idea. And like I said, currently we're putting money into those lines. There is some capital costs, and I'll have Tim come in and talk 
the, the f uh, near future about it because there, there is some equipment that you have to buy to put into the other person's center and vice versa. You is actually Sheer own County that equipment. Currently dispatched out of the sheriff's department as such. Or they have an uh, you know what? They're in the process of putting a. They're building their dispatch center over there. I am going to go over there next on the 14th to go take a look at their dispatch center. Tim's continuing to work on it. It'll be coming back before us too, but it makes, everybody says it makes a bunch of sense. We don't currently have a quote unquote bona fide backup, you know, backup. center. Sounds good. In place and Sherry it's- Sherry Bartram had gone to Roseville and now- Sarisa is where she's at. It, that's called- Is that the same thing? It, well, it's Roseville, uh, St. Clair Shores. Their, their acronym is Sarisa. They, the three different options that, that they looked at were Macomb. Macomb's in the process of building quite a state-of-the-art um, center down there. They're still a little bit of ways. Um, Sarisa, we could do it tomorrow with them. Um, and Lapeer County's going to be up in the very near future. And we just felt that our relationships currently with Lapeer, like I said, we do their assessing, we do their veterans affairs, we well, do some their, of the other if stuff. their dispatch director is our former dispatch director, that's gotta help too. Well, that's Sarisa. Right. We're not talking Lapeer, we're talking Lapeer County is who we're really. We're gonna see if Lapeer, we'll, we'll bring both options back to the table. Truthfully, it's a no cost situation. I thought that Bartram was in Lapeer, but you're saying- No, she's in the, uh, Sherry is at Sarisa. And there's been the, the discussions, like I said, with Lapeer. So we're going to be bringing, it's, it's going to be either one of those options, it, it looks like, you know, and it's a mutual aid uh, type of agreement and uh, it's something that uh, we need to think, put in place. And then later down the road, if we decide to go in a different direction, we'll, we'll have the opportunity to opt out and vice versa. So, because to put any money into, you, when you start talking about all these upgrades and all these other things that need to be be done, for example, the port iron system, are you going to put a bunch of money into something that you potentially you don't use, you know, in the long and short of it? So, very good. Any more updates from any commissioners? <coughs> no conceptual initiatives, <coughs> and there's no old business. Under new business, uh, item 7A, 2010, interlocal agreement between Macomb and St. Clair County's Homeland Security Grant Program. Uh, I have Jeff Friedland in the audience, and we have three pieces for him. If you'd like him to come up and explain any questions you may have. I'd make a motion on the uh, Homeland Security interlocal agreement. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a support. Uh, any discussion? Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor of moving it on to the full board? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right, let's go down to 7B. Again, uh, this is 2011 interlocal agreement between Macomb and St. Clair County's Homeland Security Grant Program. Move we take that to the full board. Support. I have a motion to support. Are there any questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 7C, <clears throat> this is the 2012 Interlocal agreement between Macomb and St. Clair County's Homeland Security Grant Program. I make a motion. Second. I have a motion to support. Are there any questions for Mr. Friedland? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Jeff, for being here. All right, let's move on to uh, 7D, uh, fiscal year 2013 Marine Safety Grant application. Uh, I see See somewhere, yep. <coughs> we have the under sheriff here if you have any questions. I'll make the motion. Support. Pretty standard stuff. I have a motion to support. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion, or anybody opposed? Very good. Um, item 7E, fiscal year 2013 <coughs> residential substance abuse treatment with Catholic Social Services. I would so move the uh, residential substance abuse treatment agreement with the Catholic Social Services. Support. I have a motion to support. Any questions or discussions? Yes. Yes, yes sir. How does this vary from the previous total cost? Is uh, Deb Johnson in, or Deb O'Brien in the audience? Is this comparable to last okay. year? Uh, Under Sheriff, do you, Tom, do you have any knowledge of this? <laughs> yeah, I did too. Um, 
I, I can't honestly can't swear to it, but I, I believe that this is exactly just a continuation of an agreement we've had with Catholic Social Services to do some of the treatment programs <coughs> in the jail. Um, I, I can't I can't speak to the figures. I'm sorry. Bill, if you'd find out if there's any variance, sure. Yeah. I'm sure if, if you want um, before you guys vote on it next week, I can have that information for you. Sounds good. Thank you, Tom. And any other questions? Those in favor of sending it on to the full board, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item 7F, Residential Substance Abuse Treatment Program Grant Agreement. So moved. Motion, support, and support. Are there any questions, gentlemen? <coughs> Hearing none, uh, those in favor of sending it to the full board? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries, goes to the full board. Item 7G, Law Enforcement Services Agreement with Algonac, Addendum A. So moved. And to full, to yep. full moved. Support. And supported. Uh, Tom, just real quickly, just fill us in. I, I know what it's about, but let these guys know. We, when we entered the agreement with Algonac to provide law, and law enforcement services, we gave them an estimation of what it would cost yearly for fuel. Um, it's something that we do in all the contracts. We give them an estimate, and then we bill them the actual costs. Um, what Algonac did is they looked, they had a, they've had an agreement with Speedway gas station in their city to fuel their city vehicles in the past. They asked if it would be possible if they just used that um, service to fuel the patrol cars, and they would pay the bill directly. Um, it wouldn't pass through us. We would have essentially nothing to do with it. They would just, uh, the officers would fill the cars, and then Algonac would pay the bill. Um, since it's a pass-through cost, it's nothing, uh, we're not losing anything on the, uh, on the bottom line of the contract. It's not going to cost us any extra. Uh, it, it simply, quite frankly, takes the cost out of our hands, or the billing out of our hands, puts it into Algonac's hands. They were spending about uh, probably 20 to 30 minutes round trip every time they needed fuel. They had to leave the area and go to Marine City, 26 and... Uh, With us fueling on Pacific Pride, the closest one is Marine City, 26 Mile and King, so they'd have to leave Algonac. City drive was, to Marine City and fuel up. Yeah, the city kind of didn't like them leaving the area for 30 minutes on their on their time. So, so I'm gonna, oh, I can okay. understand that yeah. one. Are, are there any questions, gentlemen? Hearing none, all those in favor, sending it on to the full board. Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, stay up there, Tom. Um, 7H is the Marine Division Coordinator Agreement renewal with uh, Lieutenant Denny Mori. That's their Marine. <coughs> Move we send it to the entire board. Support. I have a motion to support to send it on to the full board. Any discussion or questions, gentlemen? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Um, <clears throat> one more, I guess. Uh, item 7I, purchase of dynamic imaging software system from the sheriff's office. And uh, gentlemen, if we could, uh, unless you have a problem with that, uh, they would like to do this for final action tonight. Can we do that? Next week, I mean, it, it's you moved up the meeting till next week. Yeah, right? we moved it. Meetings next week. Does it matter? We could live. You know, if you do, if you don't feel comfortable with final action, then we can live with that. But What's your pleasure, gentlemen? You want to do it for final action, or is there a reason? Why did you want final the action? The reason, the the reason we had, um, oh, well, to kind of start off with, so that we don't put the cart before the horse. <coughs> the system we use now is essentially broken. It's a system we've had for several years. The owner who was the, uh, the loan support person for that system passed away. So when the system started to degrade, RIT did the best they could. They've kept it up and running for a couple of years, but it's beyond repair at this point. You have an urgent need at this time. An urgent need, yes. Mr. Chairman, I would move the dynamic imaging software system uh, for final action tonight. Support. Right. Motion and support for final action tonight. Questions now, guys? No questions. Okay, we need uh, roll, roll call, call on this then, please. Commissioner Bohm? Yes. Commissioner Heideman? Yes. Commissioner London? Yes. Commissioner Rushing? Yes. Commissioner Samasco? Yes. Commissioner Ward? Yes. Commissioner Graytop? Yes. Motion carried. Um, I don't know if this is yours or not, Tom, but. Uh, all right, item 7J is the Dispatch Fee Refunds Law Enforcement Services Agreement. I don't think that's yours. <coughs> oh, God. <Okay. laughs> 
Thank you very much. So moved. This is with Fort Gratiot uh, support. This would be for Fort with Fort Gratiot East China and China and Portion Townships, right? Yes. Do I have a motion? I think we have. Yeah, so moved. Second. And to support um, discussion or questions, gentlemen? I just have a question. We collected these fees, and I guess I wonder how budgetarily we work this out. Where's the money coming from if we've already budgeted this revenue? Well, the, the funds for support of all dispatch fees this year have been taken out of the um, landfill fund. Um, these fees have been received. We planned all along for the total cost to come from um, the other source. So um, I, at some point, we needed to reimburse. Um, the communities have been inquiring um, because they knew the bills didn't go out. So, so we, this money has sat in the landfill fund or in the general fund as basically unexpected revenue. And it was so it's we're not going to need to take it out of contingency to refund it because we never because we put it in like a holding account or how are we accounting for it? Does it does it affect contingency? Okay. Commissioner Rushing. Yes, uh, you have collectively. How many years has this sixty seven thousand eight hundred eighteen been collected for? No, this amount is just for the bills for this year, for 2012. Okay. Um, these communities um, are billed um, monthly. You'll see on the back, um, for instance, Fort Gratiot Township, their, their total is 26000 That represents nine payments. East China has only paid for eight months so far. Um, so these are just monthly payments. Okay, because I know I, re I just want to make it for 2012 only. It isn't any retroactive for the previous years. No, no it is not. Any other questions? Hearing none, all in favor of sending it on to the full board? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Motion carries, goes to the full board. Uh, item 7K is Central Bis Dispatch Advisory Board reappointments. I would make the uh, motion as presented. And it looks like uh, Bill Dieter from 12-31-2016 and Jeff, Jeff Friedland, 12-31-2016, uh, and Chief Mike Reeves, 12-31-2016, and added a new one in there, um, Mike Wendling, 12-31-2016. He's replacing Chief Taranjo, who moved out of the area. And then the state police are going to send Sergeant Todd. Uh, level, how, does, how does he say that, Jeff? Levier. Levier. Okay. Uh, we have a motion to support. Any questions on those appointments? Um, do we have a support? <coughs> support. Motion supported. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 7L Concealed Weapons Licensing Board. Did we just do that? No. We did 7K, I believe. Yeah, we're on. We're 7L. All right. Motion as presented. Support. Motion to support. Discussion, questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any other judiciary public safety matters? Nothing. Information only. You've got a grant award notice, strategic title enforcement program. Give me a motion to receive and file move, that. Move to receive and file packet. Support. That's just on that grant notice. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Now receive and file the full packet. Move to receive and file packet. Support. Thank you. All in favor, guys? Aye. 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 Move to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned. Yes. Yes. Rock and roll. Rock and roll, buddy. I'd like to call the St. Clair County uh, Board of Commissioners Environmental and Public Works uh, Committee meeting to order. Uh, Madam Clerk, could you take the roll, please? Yes. Commissioner Ward? Here. Commissioner Samasco? Here. Commissioner Rushing? Here. Commissioner London? Here. Commissioner Bohm? 
Here. Commissioner Graytop. Here. Commissioner Heideman. Here. We have a quorum. Uh, do we have any citizens uh, wishing to be heard How about regarding? If we do How about the agenda? Oh, we better get the agenda. I think we have an item on the agenda that needs to be deleted. <coughs> Move to uh, remove <coughs> item 7A. Support. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Need a motion to? Move to approve the agenda as amended, Mr. Chairman. Okay, we need a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Okay, we'll move to citizens to be heard. Uh, do we have any? Seeing none. Uh, any updates from commissioners? Just a friendly reminder on the workshop on December 19th at 5.30 p.m. Uh, if commissioners, if you get an opportunity, maybe if you could call some of your township folks just to let them know and ask them to come um, to that meeting because there's going to be a lot of things discussed with landfill, some solid waste, possible amendments, so on and so forth. I know I reached out and talked to a couple of mine today. And if you could just give them the old friendly reminder and come five thirty, five thirty nine, yeah, on the 19th here. Okay, any others? Uh, Commissioner Brown. Yeah, just, just on the same item, uh, I did attend Riley Township Board meeting on <coughs> Tuesday night. I talked to the supervisor at Wales, also their trustee on this matter, and gave him a complete rundown. I talked to Bob McCoy at Ira Township, contact the supervisor at Casco Township, <coughs> and also Columbus, and they're all aware and gave him a pretty good rundown of what we're looking at. So they're, they got their facts and the information to them, and they have it in their hands, so they have a some questions and ready when they do get here on the 19th. Good, good, <coughs> excellent. Uh, any other, any uh, uh, any other updates? Seeing none. Uh, any conceptual initiatives from our administrator controller? None. Uh, no old business. Uh, new business. We will go to 7B, the Fort Gratiot Light Station, MLAP grant application. Mark is here. Hello. Uh, tonight we're asking for uh, uh, the process to continue to give us permission to submit an application to the Michigan Lighthouse Assistance Program. It's a state of Michigan program it's administered by MISHTA through their uh, State Historic Preservation Office. The revenues come from specialty license plates, uh, the lighthouse specialty license plates. Uh, this uh, we have previously uh, completed a uh, MLAP grant to uh, <coughs> replace the roof on the equipment building just inside the front gate and repair and repaint the metal roof on the fog signal building and uh, other minor miscellaneous things. Uh, that was a grant that we <coughs> completed last spring and our trying to complete the reimbursement process. We are asking for permission to submit an application uh, for the 2013 program. The local match is being pledged by the Friends of the Fort Gratiot Light, uh, much the same as they did the first time around. The agreement is they would provide the local match, the county would provide the administrative services and professional services, and the balance would come from the state of Michigan. I, uh, in your paperwork, I uh, mis, uh, misquoted myself. Uh, the, the grant is a 20,000 local match and a $40,000 grant. So it'd be a $60,000 total project. I, I've been juggling too many grant projects. I lost track of the, the matching amount. Uh, I do, uh, the project is proposed to uh, replace the roof on the former Coast Guard station with all the improvements at the property we have to go uh, the improvements has to be based on the hist um, historic structures report and take it back to the condition it was in the 1930s that is our period of interpretation that was agreed to with the federal government so in the case of the Coast Guard station uh, we would remove the asphalt shingle roof and replace it with a sawn cedar shingle roof similar to the one that's on the equipment building uh, so we're asking for permission of that to do that I do have to say in good faith to you in context we are struggling with our reimbursement on our first grant application in that there is a required histor uh, historic preservation easement required for final reimbursement 
Uh, our county corporation council has had concerns about the language that the state has in the proposed easement and we have attempted uh, th uh, to have them consider Mr. Fletcher's proposed changes uh, to the easement, and up to this point, we have been unsuccessful. Um, but at this point, we're asking strictly for permission to submit the application, and as you know, until such time as we have a grant contract in our hands and in front of you, we are not committed to do the projects. So at this point, I'm asking uh, for permission <coughs> to keep moving forward with the application, and if we cannot sort out the historic preservation easement disagreement um, to your satisfaction, then we would no longer pursue the uh, application. So, Mark, what you say, you're asking for the application for 60,000 uh, instead of 40, as as in the documents. It'd be a, correct. It'd be a 60. No, it'd be a 60,000 dollar only. project. It'd be 20,000 local match. 40,000 for uh, uh, MLAP grant money. If I could ask, is the 20,000 in the uh, budget? In our it's budget? coming from, it would, it's coming from the Port Huron Museum. It would be part of the 2014 budget. So we don't even have a budget for that year yet. But typically okay. the Park Commission upfronts the, the grant until, and then asks for reimbursement from the participating <laughs> partners. The Port Huron Museum will be getting that from Friends of the Lighthouse? Yes. We have a letter of commitment from the Port Huron Museum. Just to elaborate a little bit, um, Bill Kaufman and myself actually met with Gary regarding what Mark had oh, talked okay. about. Didn't know that. <clears throat> we were talking about a whole bunch of other stuff, but he brought this up that he had some concerns in the language that they have with us that it's very um, strict language. Open-ended on Open -ended their part. That they, yeah. <laughs> and Gary wasn't comfortable with it. I, I go back to your recommendation, we'll apply. If Gary can't get it worked out, then it's something perhaps that we would have to uh, pull. So we're not approving the language, we're just approving the yeah, application. Is that it, right? really, it was a really tied you to, you have to do this, you have to do this. I mean, they could, and I don't want to say essentially long checkbook, yeah, but it could get, you know, Commissioner Rexel. So. Yeah, I'm a, I'm all support of this, but uh, the actual figures are going to be sixty thousand. We can come up with forty above and beyond the twenty. Yes. Rather than the forty five. Yes. Was there a motion, Roger? Was there? Not yet. We need a motion. I'll move on the uh, application <laughs> grant for sixty thousand for parks and recreation. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Second, Commissioner Bohm. Any other discussion? I, I'm sorry, Mark. I'm going to beat you up on the on the forty versus. <coughs> 60. I can understand the grants going up to 40, the grant application, but that how does that necessarily increase the expense? We're proposing to do the same work. It's $60,000 total budget, 40,000. We were the originally when we were working on the project, we we're going to try to squeeze it into 40,000. It was so your your guesstimate is that construction won't be 40, it'll be 60. Yeah, we will be able to do everything we want to do. Uh, under the 60,000 budget. Where the 40 you would have had to left We some probably would have had to do some bit it out menu style and pick what we could afford under the 40,000. I think we can do a better job and work more completely under the $60,000 budget. Okay. And in the 2014 getting the work done, that's accurate? It's not a typo? That it'll be a year. No, it out. takes that long to get through the bureaucracy of the grant, and okay. with the state historic preservation office, you have to get approval every step of the okay. way, and it may be two or three weeks before you get an approval. So it's a very convoluted process. All right, thank you. But they, uh, uh, that's good news for the museum because it gives them two years to raise, raise the twenty thousand. So. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Just Thank if you, I Mark. may, uh, on a related note, that we have a coastal zone management grant that you approve the contract. The contractor is wrapping up. If you get a chance to go out there, the sidewalks have all been poured. The interpretive panels, uh, frames for the interpretive panels have were installed today. We're expecting the concrete benches to be delivered and installed early next week. So the project's almost wrapped up. That, that grant does not require a historic preservation easement. Okay, <laughs> some good things. <laughs> okay, the Goodles County Park roof replacement for 2013. As you know, uh, 
over, just over a year ago, we went out for bid for the roof replacements at Goodles County Park, and the low bidder was reasonable roofing of Port Huron Township, and there were a menu of roofs that were included, and the five worst roofs were uh, awarded a con uh, reasonable was ro awarded a contract for the five worst roofs. In conversation, in our expectation, and in the capital improvement program budget. For the next two years, we had uh, included, uh, asked to be included two additional roofs each of the next two years. In conversation with the project manager for reasonable roofing, I had mentioned that we would be getting back with him on going out to bid, and they said, uh, uh, we're prepared to honor our bid prices from 2011. Uh, they were the low bidder of two bidders, the only local, the only local bidder, they did an excellent job. Uh, and so we're asking you for consideration to award uh, two additional roofs on the unit prices that were given in October of 2011. Make the motion. We have a motion made by uh, Commissioner Graytop, second by oh, Commissioner ahead. Rushing. Uh, any questions regarding? <coughs> Howard. Yes. Just Commissioner Rushing. That that this cost for the uh, ninety eight thousand nine hundred thirty seven that is in your budget though. For two thousand <coughs> yeah for two thousand thirteen absolutely. So it was already in your upcoming budget. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions for Mark? Seeing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. <coughs> Motion carried. I, I, on an update for that, you awarded a contract for the bunker renovation, bunker building renovation. They've we're installing the last pieces in the metal roof, and that project's pretty much completed now. Excellent. The uh, survey and remonumentation uh, 2013 grant application. Make a motion we send it to the full board. We have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Samasco. Uh, this is pretty much the same as the one last year, isn't it? Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay, motion carried. Um, the Aeronautics Advisory Board reappointment. Make a motion that uh, Mr. William McKelvey be reappointed through 9-30-2015. Support. Okay, it's been moved and supported. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Uh, okay, next is the Agricultural Preservation Board reappointment. Let's see, we've got uh, Terry Gill. I make a motion for the uh, reappointment of Ms. Terry Gill to a term ending 1231 2016. Second. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Nay. Motion carried. We'll send that on to the full board. Uh, just a note here, we have uh, two vacancies on the Agricultural Preservation Board, uh, one from Home Building and Development and another one from Natural Resources and Conservationist. So if you know of anyone that meets those qualifications, please pass on their names. Um, the Road Commission. Mr. Chairman. I would move uh, that Ken Forstner be reappointed uh, to the road commissioner as in, with the term ending of 12-31-2018. Okay, before any. we vote on that, I wanted to mention that uh, I've been attending uh, the road commission meetings now for a couple of years since I, I was appointed to that by Mr. Bohm. And I would say they, the road commissioners, they work extremely hard. They're engaged in the issues. And uh, <coughs> I'm just proud that Ken is here this evening. Uh, if there's any questions uh, for him, but I just want to say that I think they're doing a fabulous job uh, with a great administrator as well. Ken, you got any comments you'd like to make? 2018 is a long time. I know you're not a spring chicken. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay, the uh, Brownfield, or, uh, whoa, what? I got uh, something in here in the wrong place. 
Now that's, that's my fault. Brownfield Redevelopment Authority uh, Board reappointment. Chairman, I move Mr. John P. Cooper I'll be reappointed uh, through 10-31-2015. And Mr. John Osborne also through 10-31-2015. I'll support that. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Uh, Metropolitan Planning Commission reappointment. I would move the uh, reappointment of Mr. Stephen Cooper, uh, Ms. Dorothy DeBoyer, and Mr. Tom Sass. Uh, I'm assuming that these are all three-year terms so that they would expire in uh, 2015. <coughs> I would... Uh, can I add to that? You certainly may. We had an individual, I think, that was interested in um, an appointment to the Metropolitan Planning Board, if I'm not mistaken. Steve, did you yep. have a uh, individual? Well, there was like some discussion about um, <coughs> there are a number of people putting in for various positions. I guess I would move to add Donald Sheldon and William Foster to that um, suggested nominations as well. They're both con being considered on Parks and Rec, which comes up next. I, I just I would, would, support I would that ask motion. the chair procedurally that you know the um, a each of these the motion that I made already has the people designated right. so I mean I don't have a I mean I can withdraw my motion for discussion or just add for I'm just adding asking that we add those for consideration along with those that you mentioned that's the nature of my motion. What would be an amendment to your motion? Do they have, do you have slots for them? I mean, do they have to, I, it says position, for instance, Steve Cooper <coughs> is recreation and tourism. I'm assuming that that board seat is, that Steve holds is designated for that slot. Right. Ms. Dorothy DeBoyer is local government, so I'm assuming that we could, at the time of the motion in front of the full board, formulate a designation for those that we actually want to appoint. That was what I would think we would do. In other words, this, this moves it on to full board, but we, these appointments may or may not be those appointed at full board. If there's five people up in the three spots, we're going to have three of the five. That, this is just a nomination. We're not actually making the appointment. We're just nominating for consideration. Correct. And then normally what would happen is at the full board, if there are more names available for consideration, then there are slots available. So that, there's normally a ballot election. Okay, then I would amend my taken. motion to reflect your suggestion. Second the amendment. That motion, then. <coughs> okay, uh, we have a motion uh, to so amend we it. we vote on the amendment first, Mr. Chairman? Yes, we could do a friendly guys. amendment. He agrees. Do you? It was never seconded. It was never seconded, so he's. I got gotcha. you. So, so we're we're basically submitting five names for Metropolitan Planning Commission, Correct. of which we will sort out at a later date. Yeah. Well, next week. Next week. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Those names will be passed on. This time we have Park and Rec Commission appointments. Mr. Chairman, uh, I would move that uh, the name Terrell Wallace from District 6 and 7 be appointed to a vacant position right there since um, Mr. Dennis Bozinski uh, turned in a letter indicating he did not want to proceed with serving there. Uh, term expiring 12 13 or 12 31 2012. Oh, that's not right. Uh, the uh, yeah, three year term. Three year term, 2015 then. 2015. And further, that um, Mr. William Foster be appointed to um, for the position that Mr. Swiggles is running for, that Mr. William Foster and Mr. Donald Shelton both um, be appointed. To those positions. So that would be William Foster, Don Shelton, and Terrell Wallace. I would support that. All right. Oh, I would like to uh, add uh, Mr. Swiggle's name to it too, as he has asked for reappointment. Mr. Um, 
Can I do a friendly amendment? Yep. I would include Mr. Swizzle. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll probably end up just voting on everything next week. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, all in favor say aye. Uh, I got a a oh, I'm sorry. Commissioner. What so I understand is we now have four point appointments potentially for two vacancies. Uh, no, uh, the District 6 7 appointment yeah. is fixed. It, it would be for the at large position. Then we have three. Okay. Yeah, we have three for the at large position. Okay. We need a second. I'd support. Or you got, okay. Bone support. Okay. Right. Yeah. Commissioner Bone. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried. Uh, the Solid Waste Management Planning Committee reappointment. Uh, if I could jump in, in for a moment. The document that's before you um, is uh, was sent to you inadvertently. There are two names that have been proposed in addition <coughs> to um, what you see circled. There is a, an individual that has expressed interest in the general public, one of the general public positions, Mr. John Jones from Ira Township. Um, many of you, I believe, know him. He's on uh, the health committee, Yes, right? yes. Yeah. And then under solid waste management industry, um, a name has been offered and he has expressed interest. His name is Mr. Jeff Vore, I believe it is, V-O-R-E. He is the owner of Jeff's Rubbish. Um, that would qualify as a solid waste management industry representative. So that would be in addition to the remaining six that you see circled on your form. Yeah. And, and, is there any still have, and we'll still have an opening. Yeah, we still have an opening for the city government. And we have another solid waste industry vacant. And we have two general public positions vacant Mr. as well. Mr. Gore would be a solid waste industry individual. Correct. Yes. 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 It's one. And Mr. Ward had offered up to serve on that committee once he goes into retirement, retirement here. Excellent. <coughs> okay. So well, does he like this? Up. Does he like these he appointments can, then? General yeah. public. <laughs> and really I had asked him to be on there because a lot of the discussions surround our landfill and I mean he's been on the board for a length of time and has a very good working knowledge of it. So it's not like that I don't know about very this, good working this board doesn't meet on. Matt's grass we had the first shirts. meeting that it's been <laughs> four years here the other day. It's not like it's a regular Is deal. he gonna make the meetings though, Mr. Chairman? So so we have uh, these, these three, meetings are three. these meetings are called just on uh, on need basis. When need it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and uh, <coughs> no. uh, so we have three additional names that we have submitted this time. Uh, at this time, yes. Commissioner I'll move Rush. that we uh, support the nine names that have been submitted to the board. Okay. Uh, do we have a second? Second. Um, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Great. Can I Thanks. vote on myself or so, I have to abstain? No. I said you're getting railroaded. Well? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Smith Creek Landfill Activities Report. Uh, Move to accept that. Okay. Is there a second? Support. It's been moved and supported by Commissioner uh, London. Motion made by Commissioner Ward. Uh, any discussion on the activities report? It's in order. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nays. Motion carried. Any other environmental public works matters? Uh, we have several information only pieces. The uh, 2013 Road Commission Department of Public Works meeting schedule. And so we're going to put Ken to work immediately. Uh, we have an EPA statement for underground injection uh, control major class two permit modification. Uh, I'd make the motion to accept the information only. Support. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion, Motion to carry. File packet. Support. All in favor say aye. Aye. Move to adjourn. Motion. Move, we adjourn. <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 We're adjourned. At this time, I would uh, call the St. Clair County Board of Commissioners Ways and Means Committee my final meeting to order.
Final meeting. Final meeting of my the Ways and Means oh, Committee. Okay, okay. Come on now. I'm sorry, I'm losing Be it. Be on the stick here. <laughs> Got to rattle on the jet, the, the, the anvil there. Uh, we take the roll, please. Commissioner Samasco. Here. Commissioner Rushing. Here. Commissioner Heideman. Here. Commissioner London. Here. Commissioner Bohm. Here. Commissioner Graytop. Here. <laughs> Commissioner Ward. I'm here. Uh, there, there is a addition to the to the agenda and also a request for item 7D for final action. If there is a motion for that. Please. Support. Uh, I'll move the motion to accept the revised uh, agenda. Yes. We have to, to first move to to uh, to revise it, which if you would make that motion. Move to revise the uh, agenda, Mr. Chairman. I report? would second it. Mr. Heidemann, thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Now we need a motion to accept the revised agenda. So move. Is there support? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Any citizens wishing to be heard? Seeing none. Any updates? Conceptual initiatives. No. No old business. New business. <coughs> Professional services contract with David French, project advisor, convention center. Make the motion. Support. Questions. <coughs> and this is on an hourly basis, not to exceed thirty thousand. Correct. Excellent. Page ten. Money well spent. Well, yes. Any questions? If none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Veterans Affairs request for addition to the Manning table. Part-time clerk typist one. Motion. Motion to move it on to the full board. Support. Questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Health Department request for exemption to hiring for these two clerk typists two. There's a memo uh, supporting the request for Mr. Kaufman. The, the, and, uh, Motion to move it to the full board. Or did Thank you, was that, that wasn't the piece for final action? No, no. this okay. is C. It's full board then. Support. Questions? Recommended by administration, correct? It's in the budget. Yes. Thank you. Any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Now moving on to item D, which is for final action, the uh, request uh, for the health department manning table change. I think there was a, a memo at your place on that one as well. Allow the health department to <coughs> motion final action allow them to move a little quicker support uh, you're on um, item e right now yes. final on item d d d okay you're on d yes this change results in a fifty-eight thousand nine hundred. it's already been a motion seven. already been supported yeah i know i'm just oh, any okay. questions i'm sorry Howard was pontificating. There are, Dr. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Mercantile's <laughs> in there. There are no other questions. I, I don't, that doesn't take roll call because we're not spending money, correct? It's still voice vote, even though yeah, it's final action. Fine. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, thank you. Moving on to item E, uh, resolution 12 34 relative to per diems for boards of commissioners. On boards of appointed commissioners. by boards of commissioners. Oh, okay. Excuse me. I would so move. Uh, resolution 1234. Support. Question? Can you, uh, $30 per day now, how does that break down as to what it used to be? That, no, that's no difference. No difference. Yeah. $30 per day. That would be for, for example, our appointees to the Metropolitan uh, Planning Commission. Gotcha. Or to Park and Rec. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? And there's several others, aren't there, Bill? There's yes, others there that, that the thirty dollars apply. It's a standard apply. deal that we've done for solid waste. <laughs> no, not solid waste. It's <laughs> free. Try <laughs> that man, oh man. Does he have to pay income tax on that thirty bucks? Again? <laughs> Any other questions? Let's see what we can do about that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Resolution. 
12-35, waiving interest accrued on taxes collected by local units. I would move resolution 12-35. Support. Questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I would do this every year. I know. I know. Resolution 12-37, approving annual wage adjustments for county <coughs> association of non-union employees. And then 1236? 1236. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I Make skipped. the motion. Uh, that's 1236 established salaries of specific county elected and non-elected officers for 2013. I'll second this motion. Okay. Jeff, Jeff made it. I support it. Any questions? Same as last. No adjustments to any of these? No changes? No, there is no. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Now I'll get back on track. Resol um, item H, Resolution 12-37, approving annual wage adjustments for County Association of Non-Union Employees. I would so move Resolution 12-37. Is there support? Second. Questions? Any changes here, Bill? No, there is none. No questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Item I, Resolution 1239, establishing compensation to be paid to members of St. Clair County Road Commission. I think we should have to, oh, you got So motion. moved. Support. Support. Questions? Any increase here? Same no. fee? Same fee. Question, maybe? Um, <clears throat> if I read it right, they get mileage to their meetings is that I think I think the others did <coughs> too. the thirty dollar huh? ones did too okay it's an issue we'll have to take a look at I was I was wondering if that was an issue with the IRS oh, for them also like it is for us uh, we're, we're being told that they are taxed for that so oh but, okay what's the history that these are so much more than others because the Road Commission is a bigger organization personally I couldn't tell you we can we can dig into it and find out for what us. number what number are you talking about commissioner? road commissioners 1239 well, their, their pay is considerably more I mean they're the chair is or, or member is 65 17 <coughs> and the chairperson is 85 87 versus other appointed members of boards and commissions some others Solid waste gets nothing at all? Exactly. Yeah. That was my point. <laughs> <laughs> Working for me. Anyway. Hey, I've been on the board eight years, and it's been, I've been on the board eight years, and it's been that. I, I just wondered what the history is. How did they, yeah, it was how did it get like I that? Even started, I, I, it's been somewhere along the line, a salary got established for them, you know. Could it be the fact that they uh, sit on two different boards because they serve both as uh, public works and? I'm just asking the question. I don't know. Maybe we could just get a little history lesson at the. Mm -hmm. Prior to the vote. Prior to the vote, we got a week to, to, to work on it. We are Any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Item J, resolution 12-40, establishing compensation for St. Clair County Board of Commissioners. I would move resolution 12-40. Tim, here's our chance to get even. That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> on the way out the door. <laughs> we have a roll call on that, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> well, we'll do that next week, Terry. We'll set the stage, see if we can get them nervous. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. I'm moving to the Aye. full board. Yes. All right. Any opposed? Item K, Resolution 1241, establishing compensation to be paid to members of the Department of Human Services Board. So moved. Support. Questions? I think the same question yeah, that you raised yeah. regarding the road commission needs to be asked here. It's probably been around a lot longer yeah. than any of us have, or I don't even know with people. And I mean, literally, if it's 20 years worth of stuff, I don't know who in the, the history lesson or what, where you'd find that out, you know, truthfully. I mean, if you can dig it up, you can, but don't spend, you know, 40 hours trying to, uh, you know, I mean. <laughs> 
I, I, my guess is you could probably talk to somebody at the road commission. They'll know, for instance, the road commission, same sure. with the um, Department of Human Services. They're, they're going to know. I actually spoke to someone, to a DHS board member earlier today about another issue and um, was informed that their positions are actually appointments from the governor. Yep. So it's entirely possible that this is a fee that's set by the state. Who was, but who was we'll the check. former administrator that was sent on letters on the convention center um, for Don Dodge? Oh, oh uh, yes. He yes. called me on a like very Sam, sharp. He Sam was Gray. On. He, what's, what was it? Sam Gray? Sam yeah, Gray. Sam Gray. Yeah. Sam, he, he called me a couple times. He was very sharp. He mm -hmm. probably wouldn't know that. Yeah. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Item L, vehicle acquisition replacement and assignment utilization policy revisions. Uh, first of all, is there a motion? I'll move. move. Support. Um, just a little history. Um, Commissioner Graytop, Commissioner Rushing, and I have had the pleasure of serving on a committee that uh, worked through this. Um, speaking for myself, at least, I know I'm satisfied with the revisions. I have one piece I want to change. They fixed that, so I'm fully satisfied with what's in front of us. Commissioner uh, Rushing? Same here. Um, I don't know if any of the other members would have questions. Just look very well put together. Yeah, maybe what changes were made. Well, they're all kind of they're outlined, outlined in here. Outlined in yeah. They're all bolded Some out. Squared boxes with the arrows. Yep. yep. You guys are satisfied. I'm satisfied. Motion. Yep. Okay. Any other questions? All a question. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Are there any other ways and means matters at this time? Hearing none, there's some information only. I, re I move that we receive and file the information only. Support. Support. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to receive and file packets. So moved. Support. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I move we. Uh, uh, go into executive session and adjourn following executive session. Support. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this week's St. Clair County Board of Commissioners meeting. Your St. Clair County Commissioners broadcast these meetings on Comcast Local Access Channel 12 every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. If you have any questions on any part of this program, please feel free to contact your St. Clair County Board of Commissioners or staff. You can find their contact information, the meeting agenda, and videos of the meetings at www.stclaircounty.org.